the free right. Yes, the free right. Stay. <laughs>
uh, MX Blue Keys because of this. I wanted the loud, clicky sound that makes me feel productive, makes me feel like I'm typing, you know, all of that. And then came the free write into my life. Now, let me tell you, I was skeptical about buying it because I know it has the MX Blue Keys, right? And uh, uh, the MX Brown, and which is, they are responsive and they're bouncy, um, but they don't have, they, can, you can hear the difference, right? There's a different click to that. And I thought, I'm not going to like this over my clicky MX Blue Keys. Yes. Yes. I love this. Seriously. I love this. I love the sound. I love the travel. I love how, you know, the bounce that I get from my fingers on the keys. It makes me active in my typing, right? I'm not mindlessly typing when I'm on this. I'm not mindlessly typing when I'm on that either. But the difference is the sound of that click, for some reason, it's actually more pleasing to my ear than this. And I didn't think that it would be. But it is. I'm shocked. I'm telling you, I'm shocked. I was not expecting it. Like I said, I've got the chip. I've got everything I have. If it doesn't have MX Cherry Blue Blue in it, I don't want it. I don't buy it. But I love the sound of this. Typing on this is beautiful. Love it. So that's the first thing. When you love actually using a tool, you love the sound of it, you love the feel of it, every day I look forward to sitting down with this tool. Okay? I love sitting down with it. I love getting the writing done. So that's the first reason why, for me, it's worth it. Because when I'm done, I actually want to go play with my toy. You know, it's like you're the kid at Christmas that got the new, you know, for me, I'm a nerd. I, I got the speaking spell right. <laughs> it's my toy. You know, the, the millennials, when I understand where that comes from. Generation X, y'all know where I'm coming from. Right? The speaking spell was all that. Well, that was my toy. I love playing with it. And if this feels like coming, like my 10 year old self getting my, getting my speaking spell and running to play with it after I get off work for the day. When you get that excited about a tool, that in of itself, to me, makes it worth it because I don't run for stuff. I don't run for my MacBook. I love my MacBook. I have the MacBook. Uh, 16 inch, right? Love it. Just bought it. Love it. But I love my iPad. I'm not running to my iPad for this. I am running to get and start writing on my free write. Seriously, I love it. So that's the first thing. No distractions. I don't know about you, but I'm 51. <laughs> and <laughs> so the older I get, it's like I have this undiagnosed um, ADHD. Squirrel. What was I saying again? I can't remember. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No distractions. No email. No internet. No Facebook. No Twitter. No Twitch. No nothing, right? Nothing. There's nothing on this thing. So there's just you and the free ride. You know, maybe a not so fresh pair of funky pajamas, maybe a cup of coffee, you know, but mostly some productive writing time, okay? Um, the other thing is, if you can look at the keyboard, there's no arrow keys, right? It is strictly forward writing. If you go back, you have to backspace and delete. I don't know about y'all, but it's hard enough to get those words out. There is no way in the world that I'm going to backspace <laughs> over anything that I might eventually want to get back. So what I what you end up doing is just constantly writing forward until you're finished. That is the design of this. It is designed to keep you writing forward with no distractions. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan, I'm a proponent of the crappy first draft, right? 
that your first draft should be and can be as crappy as it needs to be, but it just needs to be finished. You have to finish. If you don't finish, you got nothing. You got a big fat nada, goose egg, zero zilch, nada. The whole point of this thing is to make you finish, to make you finish by not giving you the options to do all the other stuff that keeps you from doing the things that you're supposed to do, which is focus on writing those chapters every day, okay? So that is why it's so valuable. And then what I will also say is this, dudes, you can't sit and use this in front of the TV set, okay? You will negate the purpose of the free write, the no distraction writing tool, if you sit in front of the thing with the in front of the TV set with your airplay and your YouTube and your you know and your Netflix and you're watching the crown like I was just watching sorry but if you're watching the crown why you're supposed to be writing no don't do that if you're gonna do that don't buy this this will be useless Anything will be useless. Your computer's going to be useless. Pen and paper's going to be useless. Your iPad's going to be useless. If you're going to sit in front of the TV and try to write, and try to write non in, in a non-distracted state, <laughs> you're going to be distracted. So use this. This is useful, worth every penny of it, when you're actually sitting in a non-distracted state. So some people need to have like the background noise and stuff like that, but I do have a solution, which I will talk to you about in a minute. It is really easy to incorporate into your writing routine. Okay. Very easy to incorporate into your workflow. Okay. And that is key. Like if you get a tool and you don't know how to use it and you don't know how to make it work within what you're doing, then this will not be worth $550 if you got to figure, you know, figure out how to, how to get it in your workflow. For me, it wasn't that hard. Um, I've really found two key places for it. Well, three actually key places for it. So let me tell you a little bit more about the tool and then you can, you'll see how I incorporate it into my workflow. Okay. So the first thing is, um, it's got folders, right? So it's got three folders and within each folder, right, you can create as many files within those folders as you want. Um, you know, I, I've had it maybe three weeks, so I'm nowhere near capacity. But what I have done is figured out how I want to use my folders, right? So in one folder, I it's where I write my chapters. In one folder is where my outline is. And the uh, last folder is what I use for brainstorming, right? Sometimes when I sit down and like I tell you, my, my high stress job where I've been working a crazy deal with crazy people. And um, if you got to purge, you know, before you write, sometimes you got to purge. So for me, I use one folder to purge. By the time I'm finished getting all that crap off my mind, then when the creativity starts kicking in, that's when, you know, I can go to one of the other two folders. Right now in my workflow, I will tell you I'm working on my outline, okay? So my outline is in, in my B folder and my chapters, when I get there, and I'm not there yet, we'll talk about that later, but when I get there, my chapters would be in my A folder, okay? So that's kind of, you know, how I have set up my workflow. Then on this other side is the Wi-Fi. You set it up when you first get the machine. Um, you get two basically cloud spaces that you can use to back up your files, right? In one place, uh, they, they give you a post office box with, with, get, uh, with free write. And then you can also choose a second one, whatever your preference is. Dropbox, Google, and I think OneNote, right? Um, so they hit the biggies. They don't have Apple on them. So what I do, um, you know, I leave this on when I'm working in the house. I just leave it on and it is constantly like backing up to the cloud. So no matter where you are, no matter how much you've written, if there's no save button. You don't have to save anything. When you type, it's in there, right? Which is the other beautiful thing. How many times do you forget to save stuff and then you lose it? I can't even tell you. Between my work job, I mean, 
and like my author I have lost like entire chapters I have lost the concept for a whole book a whole outline seriously that just happened to me I just recently found it but I think if I had been using this I never would have lost it I could have gone back to the cloud I could have gone back to the archive and I would have found it somewhere but I was actually using another tool, which we'll talk about in the next episode, <laughs> that caused me to lose that. And that is why, one of the reasons why, um, that I stopped using it as much. Okay. So anyway, this is all the goodness that is uh, this tool. So what I'm going to do now is basically kind of do a um, walkthrough of how I actually go about my day with the free write and how I actually use it in my workflow. Okay. So the first thing, get it ready. I use my, um, air can uh, noise canceling headphones, the AirPod pros. I just got these. I will tell you, I love them as a writer. I think you have to have a pair. I'll do another thing about how I use these in the future, but, um, at, uh, for your writing workflow. Right. But anyway, this is what I start with. This keeps you non-distracted. So if you're the one who has to have your TV playing in the background with your Netflix on, then at least put something in your ears to keep you from being distracted so that you'll get the most out of your 550 right. bucks. So now it's time to um, walk through uh, how I use the, the free write in my workflow, okay? So the first thing obviously I do is I turn it on. <laughs> Gotta turn it on, okay? Um, so I have my folders going here, right? Is uh, whatever I'm working on, right, I hit send. Now what send does, you can see, I don't know if you guys are like me, right? But when, I, when I'm working on something a previous day and then I come, <laughs> The next day, like, I need to get up to speed on what I was writing. I have zero idea. So the first thing I do is figure out where I was. And so that means, um, so if you could see this. Um, so you could see how, you know, you can get the document on your thing. It, it sends it to you in PDF and it sends it to you in um, text form. So basically I send it to my iPad and I review what I wrote. And that way I get up to speed on what I'm doing. Okay. The next thing I do is this special key uh, basically changes your um, thing. So, but I personally like to use the um, the one that shows me my word count so I know how awesomely wonderful and how super uber duper productive that I have been that day um so I will tell you uh I just rolled my eyes <laughs> you can't see that but I just rolled my eyes okay and so what I would do is just get into this and I would start typing you know wherever I was I'm, I'm gonna backspace off of this but you guys can see that this screen is lighted so um you know, it's there's a backlight in the screen where you can use it anywhere. So this thing is backlit really well so that um, you can use it anywhere. Okay, which is wonderful. Okay, so here's the here's the issue, right? Um, if I'm in a folder and I'm gonna start this. So say I'm writing something. Right? So I'm writing something and it's all wonderful and good. You know, a lot of wonderful goodness going on here. Oh, I got an idea for a new chapter. I am going to uh, and break away from this chapter and go write that chapter. So what you have to do with this is you gotta hit uh, new, right? So you hit new and it starts your new page and your new chapter goes out of the way. So you sit down and you write and you're like, eh, that idea wasn't as great as I thought it was, right? Forget this, I'm going back. Guess what? You can't go back. There is no file management system on this machine, okay? You can only, at a maximum, work three documents at a time, one on each 
file folder, whatever the current document is on each file folder, that's it. You can have three documents. You cannot stop, go back. And let me just tell you, if there's some smart ass out there, sorry, you, excuse my language, but if there's some smart ass out there <laughs> who knows how to do it, please do not tell me. Do not leave that in a comment. I don't want to know how to use it because guess what? That feature and the fact that it doesn't allow me to go back through my files and pick what I want to write means that I am going to keep writing forward. It actually made me do that. Because I couldn't go back and chase that other idea, I was forced to finish the part of the outline that I was on and move on to the next outline and keep moving forward. So it truly is wonderful. You cannot go back. So the way, the only way that you can really go back on this is to go online into your post box or your cloud. You can download the file or send the file to yourself. When you email it to yourself or you pull it out of the cloud, you can download and you can uh, copy and paste it into Word. And when you do that, then you can revise that, that file again. But once you hit new, that's it. You're moving forward from here. You cannot go back. So again, some people are going to find that to be a pain in the butt, but that is what this is designed for. It is designed so that you can't go back. It's designed to keep you moving forward. And so if you're somebody who wants to move forward, and if you're a writer, you, everybody should want to keep moving forward, then you will find a lot of use in this machine, okay? Anyway, to sum up, I love this dang tool. I really do. I think it's, for me, it is worth it. For me, I was happy to spend the 550 bucks on it because it makes me more productive. But I do understand, and I have been in a position where I couldn't afford this. Matter of fact, it was only a few years ago that there was no way in the world I'd spend $550 on a tool, which is why I have so many tools, right? Um, but anyway, so if, if you think this can be helpful based on what I've said, great. Go grab it at getfreewrite.com. If not, I do have some alternative tools to talk to you about in the next episode, okay? Um, namely, uh, our friend, the Alpha Smart. You know, I have three of these. You saw this in my street cred video. I have three of these, and I will walk you through um, how you have similar functions, but it's not the same. I will tell you, it is not the same. But there are some similar functionality that if you are budget constrained, that you can get some of that similar functionality that is in the free ride in the Alpha Smart. But it ain't the same. I'm going to tell you, the free ride is a far better typing experience. But this can do some tricks. And we'll talk about it in the next episode. So thank you for joining Writing and Gadgets and Workflow, and we'll see you next time.